Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, we're doing a regular fantasy draft, not a Legends fantasy draft. So let's hop right in. See what pick we're going to get. Number 24. Now, I haven't done a regular fantasy draft in a long, long time. I've done the fantasy draft rebuilds, but that's more long term. We need one season out of these guys. So let's look and see what we can get. Let's start off the quarterback position. Andrew Luck is there. We could go with that if we wanted to. There's a lot of good quarterbacks down here, though. Jameis Winston, hello. But I, what I think I'm going to do is actually go. I think I'm going to go with Drew Brees. We could go with Wilson if we wanted to, but let's get Drew Brees on our team. Superstar X Factor. Now, if Christian McCaffrey's here, which he is, he is now on my team. 99 overall, Superstar X Factor, 23 years old. He's an absolute beast. So we're going to do about 20, 21 rounds. Then we're going to sim the season, see if we can win the Super Bowl. Now, where do we want to go with this? I kind of want to load up on Superstar X Factor, guys, to be honest. Left, and we could go with Campbell as a Superstar X Factor guy. Maybe we just test that theory. Should we? Should we go with Von Miller? I believe a Superstar X Factor. He is. Add him to the team. Take your time. There we go. Ranked 88. Take it at 88. See, I know a thing or two about Madden. Now, if Calais Campbell's here... Which he is. He is now officially on my team. That is four superstar X Factor guys. Now, I don't know if Brandon Brooks is a superstar. The Honey Badger, a great. Is he? He is. Add him to the team. Why not? We probably are going to need an offensive line eventually. I should probably address that. DeCastro. Let's get David DeCastro, right guard, 91 overall. Ooh, rank 91, take it to 169. Not that bad. Now, where do we want to go with this? Maybe get Hudson on the team. He's a superstar guy. We could get one good year out of him. I think that'll make a lot of sense for this team. So we have not taken anything under a, under a superstar development guy. Marpet, star development, but that's all right. Add him to the team. So we have a pretty good offense, you know, going for Drew Brees so far. With Christian McCaffrey, AJ Green, Debo Samuel off the board. Interesting. Corners. Now, Tlaib would not be a bad idea, but I do want to take a look around. We don't need a left outside linebacker. Nanny Trevathan with that star development wouldn't be a terrible idea. I like Lorenzo Alexander a lot, but with normal development, that is not happening. Jamie Collins has normal. What about Telvin? He has star development. Retired this year. I think he'll come back, right? You have to imagine he was just retiring for a year. Just wanted to take a break. At least that's what everyone's going to assume until he comes back. Now, you know what? Let's go with Joseph. Add him to the team. 264. Okay. I think that'll work out perfectly for our team. Where do we go from here? We need a right tackle and a left tackle, which we're going to have to look into as soon as possible. Whitworth definitely has superstar development. He does. That is a good pick for our team. Now, let's go right tackle. Gilbert. I'd rather just go with another left tackle and Joe Staley and throw him over there right tackle. So the offensive line is set and ready to go. We still have a lot of work to do on this team, though. Danny Shelton off the board. Oh, man. We need, a, we need corners. We need safeties. Eric Weddle. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. I want to see strong safety first. Vaccaro. I'm going to add Vicaro to the team. 78 overall. That'll be a good pick for us. That is what I like to see. Now we are in pick 14. If Tlaib's still there, which he's not, Joseph has normal development. What about Dunbar? Normal. So we're going to be tough. Let's get Levi Wallace. Now, trying to think. Do we go for an end in this situation? I know we have Calais Campbell. But then we probably should go for middle linebacker at the same time. Maybe get like an Onuos. Oh, I don't know how to say his name exactly. Onuosaur? That sounds like a Pokemon. That's probably not how you say it. But I like to pretend. Let's get Zach Brown on the team. Why not? 75 overall. Ranked 602. Take it at 472. So a little bit of a reach. I would like to get another receiver for Drew Brees if we could. Deshaun Jackson we could go with if we wanted to. Fitzgerald would also be a good pick. But I'd like to see somebody with star development, which I don't know if we're going to be able to find at this point. It's not looking very good that we'll be able to. So let's get him a Fitzgerald on the team. So we have A.J. Green who could go deep downfield. We have Larry Fitzgerald going across the field. 
I think that's a good one-two punch. And you got McCaffrey coming out of the backfield. Seems pretty good. Tight end. Does Graham have some sort of a develop? Nope, nope, nope. I think Hayden Hurst does for some reason, which I don't really understand at 26 years old what made him get star development. Doesn't really make sense to me. Um, Let's go. Maybe with the right end? Maybe with an Adamic and Sue? Yeah, let's do that. 86 overall. So we're around 19. And what we really need is a free safety in some corners. So free safety, we're not going to be able to get basically anybody... Let's get Antoine Bethe. Why not? 76 overall. 35 years old. Wouldn't be a pick I'd make for the long term, but short term one year. Why not? Jonathan Joseph, welcome to the team. And then maybe we'll pick one more guy. Maybe another corner. We could go with another receiver. Let's check out both those positions. Let's get Amendola on the team and then sim the rest of this. So I drafted an 88 overall team, 93 offense, 84 defense. I'm not really sure why they took Cameron Bray when we have Hayden Hurst, but we'll just ignore that for now. We're looking pretty good on offense. The offensive line looks beastly. Take a quick look at the defense. I like the way it looks. Let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs and got a first round bye. We went 13 and three, Jets eight and eight, the Dolphins 5, 10 and one. I was gonna say they both went five, 10 and one, but the Bills went five and 11, earning last place. Take a look at the stats. Breeze, 4,500 yards, 51 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Wow, oh, wow. McCaffrey, 1,500 yards, 8 touchdowns. Awesome year. Green, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. Amendola, 907 with 10. Bray, 784, 8 touchdowns. Fitzgerald, 608 with 11. McCaffrey with 4. Riddick with 5. That's surprising. Defense, Von Miller, 83 tackles. He also has 15 sacks. Sue with 8. Campbell, 4.5. Interceptions, 4 for Vaccaro, 2 for Bethe. A lot of ones to go around. Take a look at the early awards. I don't have my sliders on, by the way, so we're not going to have to look at the XP. Breeze with the MVP, which I love to see. McCaffrey is not up there, unfortunately. Coach of the year, Bruce Arians. Interesting. We're at number two. AFC Offensive Play of the Year. Aaron Rodgers beat us out. Wow. Nobody else. Defensive Play of the Year. Aaron Donald. Devin White's up there. No Patriots. Offensive Rookie of the Year. No Patriots. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Devin White's going to win it. But no Patriots. That's expected. I don't think I drafted a rookie, to be honest. So let's give it a quick upgrade because we are going to have some points. But, yeah, nothing too spectacular. DeAndre Baker's a rookie. I stand corrected. Let's advance the week. See who we're going to be playing against. We are playing against the Kansas City Chiefs. Get, uh, can we get to the conference championship? A little bit a little slow right now. I don't like to see that. Can we beat the 9-4-3 Cleveland Browns? And get to the Super Bowl we can. And we're playing against the Giants. Oh, let's hope this is, you know, just going down a little trip down memory lane, right? Let's hope it's not that. And away we go. Can we beat the Giants once and for all? We got a safety, then scored a touchdown. I like to see that. It is 9-7, to seven, though. A little bit too close for comfort. And now we're getting our asses beat. 17-9, 20-9, 27-9. Okay, maybe we can come back. Not looking very good, though. 30 to 19 with eight minutes left in the game, and that is the ball game. How disappointing. Who's going to be the quarterback for the Giants? Carson Wentz, get out of here. He didn't even throw for a touchdown or an interception. That means they have Elliott or Barkley or Kamara. Drew Brees, 315, three touchdowns, one interception. Or Jamal Williams, two touchdowns. How did they win? Two touchdowns for Bray, one for Fitzgerald. I don't really understand that, but that is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.